I don't know if President William Ruto means it because he said so many things and I can't locate him these days because the things he said during election and the things he's doing now are two different things. This is Tindo telling African stories the African way. Revolutionary greetings to the esteemed professor, a friend of mine and a brother, PLO Lumumba. When you see a black person, when you see an African person, everywhere else in the continent, in the diaspora, and all over the world, please be kind to African people. I don't know if President William Ruto means it because he said so many things and I can't locate him these days because the things he said during election and the things he's doing now are two different things. I don't know. Because I heard him saying we need to do away with the dollar and build our own currency but his actions are not speaking to anything of doing away with the dollar. The latest being putting a red carpet for a murderer, a person who killed the Kenyan people coming into this country, receiving a red carpet and being saluted by our own army. This is not a Kenyan army, it's not a colonialist army. The Kenyan army is a product of the Mau Mau rebellion. And those who killed our people in the Mau Mau rebellion cannot be saluted by the same army of the children of those who were killed during Mau Mau rebellion. We have a duty to stay true to the cause. We have a duty to remind the king and Britain of what they did to us indeed he shows no remorse he says this was bad it shouldn't have happened but he runs short off i apologize i am sorry he will never say he is sorry for because he thinks that his race makes him superior and he's not qualified to apologize to those who are junior to him we call upon the the Kenyan government to be firm and to decide what they want to be. Do they want to be pan Africanist or do they want to be proponents of neocolonialism? You can't have it both. Only one call must be made, and that call is of pan Africanism. In Africa, because our currency, our currency can be more powerful than the pound and the dollar combined. Because London has got the big storage of gold, yet they don't have a single smallest mine of gold. Their economy is based on our minerals. And if we safeguard our minerals and protect them and say out of these minerals, we are producing a currency that is going to compete internationally. We stand a good chance. We need African Central Bank. We need African Monetary Zone. We need African military combat. Because these pockets of wars that are happening in Africa are not of our own making. They are sponsored wars so that those who continue to steal our resources can do so uninterrupted as we fight ourselves amongst ourselves. So we need a military, a common defense system, the African high command that will ensure the stability and security of Africa. We equally need a binding African court to deal with dictators who only exist in Africa to feed their friends and families. Those people must be prosecuted the African way because ISIS Mr. Malema should stop coming to Kenya and insult our president. In fact, I want to ask the Ministry of Foreign Affairs 
to demand an apology from Julius Malema and EFF of South Africa and to deny him visa and passport from coming to Kenya again. No one can ever say to me, welcome to Kenya or Lukenya or Nairobi, as if I'm a visitor. I regard no part of Africa as being foreign to me because Africa, all of it, belongs to me and I belong to Africa. Tender and reserved apology, not only to President William Ruta, but to the great people of Kenya. Yeah. Because, because when you insult, when you insult William Ruta as the President of Kenya, you are insulting all of Kenyans. And we are giving Malema the next five days to do and reserved apology to the president. It's not easy being a Pan-Africanist. For because the mindset of our people is so colonized, they are going to isolate you. They are going to look at you as if you are a mad person. They are going to look at you as if you are unreasonable. But it is a cause worth pursuing because of the generation that came before us. We don't want uh, visas. Perhaps I must come back here in December unannounced. So to test if indeed President William Root means exactly what he said when he said there won't be visas in December. Maybe I must sneak in and test without applying for any visa and just give them the South African passport and say I'm coming home. Please subscribe to Tinder for more updates about Africa.